23 days out. Welcome to the video. I've been moving kind of start no trouble with me Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me You know how I like it when you loving on me I don't want to dive in and miss me Guess I see the things that they wish in me Hope I got some brothers that I with me They gon' tell the story, shit was different with me God's plan Bad things, there's a lot of bad things They wish and 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 I was the Hulk like 30 minutes ago and now I'm Christian he's mine again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with me and get some money. Whole Foods or H E B? H E B. Yeah. But Whole Foods has those sweet potato things. Oh you're right. That's but that other than that though it's not worth it. Yeah. Do both bro. Fuck it. Okay, both. let's go. Can I get a pound of the deveined? Time to eat. You guys may think I'm a little weird, but I've got my ground beef, eight ounces. I've got my sweet potato with some salt, pepper, a little bit of butter spray, and I'm gonna add a little bit, a little dab of this syrup. And then, this is gonna, that might not, this is gonna freak you out. So with the green beans, I put some garlic, uh, and then I sauteed them, and I put some salt and garlic pepper, and then, my secret ingredient, I put some, like, a soy sauce. So I'm gonna put soy sauce, pancake syrup, ground beef, Mm -mm -mm. I've only had breakfast today, which is like four eggs and two whole eggs. Four, four egg whites, two whole eggs. So, really looking forward to this meal. <laughs> What's up? My uh, Lita's here. My grandma. Checking out the house for the first time. She said that the lake in my parents' house is better. So. <laughs> hi. This is Nabil. Take her outside. A ver si trae chatabo, I feel so out of it right now. I'm going ask mom what she thinks about my diet. Hey mom, what do you think about me dieting down? Every huh? year. What do you think about me getting super shredded every year? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's really good. Health, healthy. No. No. I think I look sick. Mm -hmm. The last month, Christian, is really bad for you, puppy. Every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom used to take me to my shows just for she would drive me to Austin because I couldn't drive because I was so dizzy. <laughs> the, like the, the last little week, you know. Remember that one? Uh, and then we went to the state. No, then we went to. First show. Well, I'm gonna you tell the story. Show? I'm gonna tell. It was. Just, I think it was my second show. But, oh no, it was my first, first one. one. Okay, so it was my first show. Mom drove me up there. We went to, uh, I was assigned a cheat meal that night. 
but I was supposed to go to a steakhouse and just get like four ounces of steak. Uh, but then we went to Texas Roadhouse and I saw that I went to go check in that night. So I saw all the competitors were super big and shredded. So I kind of gave up a little bit and just, I had a bunch of bread rolls and I just cheated on my diet. And then before I went on stage, I had all my candy. So I'm not going to ruin this anyway. <laughs> And then, and then how you used to practice your poses? In the yeah, hotel. mom would be like, that looks really, yeah, you look, that looks good, do that one. I'm like, okay, okay, mom, will do this one. And then I, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, man, I gotta pull myself together. Knock my cardio out today. You have ice cream? Wellita's asking. I have some Halo Top peanut butter. My grandma wants some ice cream, so I said I had some Halo Top. So we're gonna see what she thinks of some Halo Top. Here's a true review. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm. Is it she good? Likes it. She likes it. Does she really like it? Mm. Yeah. It's now about 7.30 p.m. I finished 40 minutes cardio and I'm about to have my next meal of the day. I know you can't see it, but I've got eight ounces of chicken that I cooked up earlier down here. I got another probably two-ish servings of green beans and then two cups of basmati rice. And I'm gonna put some of this liquid aminos it's like a soy sauce on here. Tastes really, really good. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to sit my ass down on that couch. I'm gonna put the Cavs Celtics game on and I am going to watch the game. That's what I'm gonna do. Productive day though, really productive. We did a lot today, man. I feel like you guys, like, it's so hard for the vlogs. They don't see like all the, I wish I could like publicly talk about all the, it's all secrets, all the business stuff. Everything's secrets all the time, but making big strides and yeah you guys don't i hate when people talk so much oh doing doing big things man doing big things but we are what's <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> up so, way in time <sighs> now it's here She's been up since like six, doing this. <laughs> scratch ears, scratch ears, scratch ears. Her favorite is scratch her ears, that's what I say, and scratch her ears, and she does it. Oh my God, my legs. The cardio soreness has kicked in, plus the leg day soreness. Gotta be excited about it because that's 0.2 pounds lower than yesterday. Nothing crazy. 0.2 pounds is something bad, dude. Your legs. <sighs> Let's go eat something. Actually, yeah, we'll go eat something. Something light. All right, guys, so for breakfast, I have four egg whites with one whole egg, one big handful of baby spinach, and then one serving of chicken sausage. I think it's maple chicken sausage. I got it from Whole Foods. And then for my carbs, I'm actually gonna have some carbs today. Uh, I'm just doing half a cup, which is about 27 grams of carbs worth of rolled oats. We have a special guest coming in town today who is really going to make this prep a lot easier. Hmm. I don't feel like making you do anything. I'm sure it's easy. Okay, okay. Here's one. <laughs> Here's the other one. <laughs> Dude, literally, like, these are straight up like turkey. Like Ingredients. Deboned beef, brown rice, oatmeal, maple syrup, potatoes, salt, flaxseed. I, I could eat this. It's probably healthier than my diet, bro. <laughs> I dare you. It's about 10.45, got the lab mic on today. We're gonna go ahead and just hit this push workout and I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys as I'm going so this is about to be a long raw workout i don't know what we're going to talk about what's going to go through the mind but today's definitely like a chug pre-workout day 
this is ghost, I know it's a one-up shaker, but I have one scoop of the lemon lime pre-workout and then one scoop of lemon lime BCAA. And instead of sipping, like I normally would, I'm sh it's a chugging kind of day right now. There you go. Oh! When you warm up at the bar, literally treat it like you're doing 315 pounds. Get tight. About to attempt Max's bench PR. One eighty five. We got two seventy five on the bar here. I'm going to do three or four working sets with this weight. I'm thinking six reps each set would be really nice. Keep the weight at 275 and try to hit three to four sets of six. It's a game plan. The leaner you get, like the deeper we're into prep, we have three weeks left. We're not going to be gaining strength right now. So our goal, train as heavy as we can, keep in proper form, avoid doing anything stupid. We don't want to hurt ourselves like leading into the final weeks. You guys see how there's like, there's like this roll in the bar? Depending on the bench you guys have, if you do have roll, be sure you take all of that out before you lift the bar up or else freaking roll out. Bar will fall in your freaking mouth. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Yep. Yep. Three, four, big breath. Yep. I like to think when I'm benching, as I'm coming down, I'm literally trying to bend the bar into my chest like this. I'm bending the bar, gripping really, really tight, as hard as I can. My back, is, my upper back is pinched. I know you guys make fun of me for always saying it, but the scapula is retracted. It's pinched back into this bench. I'm planted, my butt's planted. I got power right here. You bend the bar and fucking push that shit up. So much of this shit's mental, man. If I tell myself I'm feeling weak, feeling slow, then I feel fucking slow. I tell myself I can do six easy reps and make them fly up, I'll make them fucking fly up. Can I tell you guys something funny? It's actually not funny. It actually annoys me every single day I'm in this gym. This is one of those things that like became this little quirk with the gym. Nothing's ever perfect, everything has quirks, but you guys look at the logo up at the front. The logo looks perfect, but there's actually supposed to be like a cutout on the ear, right? And they actually cut it out. It's just they forgot to pull like the, the material out. And so there's no, there's no like gap in the ear like there should be. That bugs me every single day. But it's also like, Kind of cool with it because I don't know. It's unique. Kind of want to get a spot. The thing about spot, even though you may not need like help and extra reps, it's just nice to kind of conserve the energy when you're lifting off because you use a lot of energy to get the weight up. And so if you have some help with that, that energy could be used for pushing. Hey Matt, give me a quick spot. Give me a quick lift off, but not not too crazy lift off. Trying like a subtle, you know. <coughs> Pause the bottom. All right, second movement of the day. We're doing an incline dumbbell press with a slight spin on it. I haven't shown you guys these this prep yet, but here I've got the bench. Now, so a lot of times I'll actually use like this placement where it's a very, very low, subtle incline, but because we just did flat, this is kind of like too similar of an angle. So therefore we're gonna go up here and I have 60 pounds here. That's super light, but we're gonna be doing pause reps. We went six reps on the bench. We're gonna increase the rep range. We're gonna be going for 10 reps here and if you guys have never done pause reps, or if you have a lacking chest, if it's a weak point for you, if you're weak out, out of the hole, pause reps are your answer. 
You need to incorporate them in your training because you're going to be staying tight the whole time. Just like the bench, you're staying tight, back's retracted. You're pausing at the very bottom. Now, when you're, when you're at the bottom, pause. This isn't a relaxed position. You're not supposed to be able to chill here and hang out. You're tight. It's controlled. You stay really tight and then you push up. So we're going to go a one, two, three, four Mississippi down. One, two, pause. Explode up as fast as you can. Repeat that rep count, that tempo, eight to ten times. There we go. I'm choking up on the dumbbell a little bit. <coughs> Here we go. Get really tight. One, two, three, four, two. Squeeze your chest. Again, down here, you're staying tight. This is gonna help so many of you guys out. You can do this on the bench, on the dumbbell, on any pressing movement. That was just 60 pounds, man. Check your ego at the door. Never compare yourself to others. Because if you compare yourself to others, you will likely feel small and unmotivated. <laughs> AKA the whole damn Alpha Leaf gym. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Feels good. You want to move and just feels good. There we go. We're gonna increase the reps. About four sets of 12, 15. Let's go. Oh man. I feel like when I get leaner, I can just feel my muscles contracting more. It's weird, like with the fibers. My carbs have been low this week. The whole prep, I've been like 280 to 300. And for the past seven days, I've dropped down to under 215 carb. So I really wanted to kind of like dip this week. And it's, it's working. I'm doing, I feel like crap, but it's, it's working right now. And honestly, like that's the lowest I really ever put my carbs, about 215. I'd rather do more cardio than do that. Also, this prep, I've done way more cardio than I ever have in previous preps. Not necessarily a good or bad thing, but I started a lot of cardio very early out versus in previous years. I start with literally no cardio, and as the weeks go on, I start adding a few sessions, and I really ramp it up, like leading up. But this year, I've been doing pretty much four to six sessions almost the whole entire time. <coughs> Titties, bro. Is that how you flex? I feel like I got cleavage. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? So there's two magical lighting spots here at Athlete. One is right here by the cable crossover, and the other is on this side, kind of by like the bicep preacher curl machine. But here's a, here's a chest. Tricep. Obliques. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. I talked about this before, but tricep push downs, it's really just about finding your groove, man. You got to find the form, the angle that kind of works for you. And once you find the groove in your set, keep that set, keep that burn as long as you can. Right there. This is kind of the tempo I like. Hold it for a second at the bottom, up slow, push down, there we go. I've been working out by myself a lot recently, and honestly, like I can't really imagine myself working out with someone like right now at this stage, just because I really, I don't know, I get very frustrated if like tempo slows down and it's not what I want to be doing, and it gets on my head and I get annoyed and I just gotta be by myself the next week. Man, like with these episodes, I feel like we give so much. Like, I'm gonna do a full day of eating today. I'm gonna do this whole like raw workout. I'm gonna give like a, the workout, like so much goes into one video where I feel like most YouTube, like a full day of eating, that's a whole thing, man. Like that's what you're gonna get for one video every three, four days. But, like we're putting so much in every single fucking episode. To show your support, just give these videos thumbs up, comment, spread the information, man, come on. I might have a refeed this week. 
haven't had any refeed. Well, I've had a few cheat meals when I travel, so that's why. But I might do a calculated refeed this week. Get my body good. Or just a fucking sushi day, sushi night. Next movement, decline skull crusher. If you don't like the decline, do it on the flat. Okay. Oh, it feels good on my lats. Don't ask you what movement this is, I don't fucking know. It's so good. Oh. Oh, I can just chill here. This is a big warehouse. So this warehouse is about 19 something thousand square feet. That 20,000 square feet warehouse for athlete. It's gonna be big, man, I don't know. I'm still debating. So I was kind of thinking maybe, maybe I could go rent like a badass like actual office office somewhere and we can do like a studio, invest like 10, 15,000 to a studio and like actually have like office office, not a warehouse, but office space for like what I would be doing, you know? More content stuff. Really good lights. I'm playing with ideas. Get the groove, get the groove. Wouldn't it be cool to be like an AC, like sick ass office for the studio? Cause like warehouse would be cool, but realistically, like, you know, we would need AC for all the camera, for all the gear. On this movement guys, I'm not trying to, I'm not doing this. I'm not starting here. This is not my starting, I'm coming here. Ooh, that's my starting position right there. So we're coming down and finishing the rep right there. More tension on the tricep. Notice there's tension here. I can't hold this all day, but I can hold this all day. That's easy. Fuck. Come on. Okay, hold on. At seven, how are we new? We're gonna come here and do negatives. Eight, come here, push up. Slow, slow, slow. Come on, come on, come on. Nine, come on. Uh, it's negative, negative. Just fucking fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. All right. Wow, I'm kind of dizzy from being upside down for so much shit. Last move, we're shooting a single arm. Tries to be extension. Getting a really good contraction. I'm actually doing a uh, supinated grip. At 15 reps. See, guys, on these, you can really, I kind of change my grip every few sets. Yeah, I want some Waba Grill. That sounds fucking great. Some Waba Grill? We don't have those here. Oh, yeah, you never had Waba Grill, have you? Oh. Kind of played with the idea of opening one up here, like right by the gym. There's a Starbucks, a Jimmy John's, uh, Jack in the Box, like right down the street. Like right in that same complex could be good. 20% off for all gym members. Hey, Mama Goose want to run it. My mom's almost 60 years old, bro. She is working so much. She is like, doesn't look 60 at all. She's 59, I think. Final movement, it's our finisher. We're just gonna do a, kind of like an incline fly sort of thing right here on this belt machine, just like this. Bring the arm across the body. Try not to bend my elbow too much. About 15 reps, no rest, you go the other arm. Workout done. If you guys want something set to follow, a really nice clean PDF, everything lists out, exercises, sets, reps, like at your disposal on your phone. I have a four day, five day, and six day training program. I also have a women's program, a glute specific one, on my website, christianusman.com, for $10, literally $10. You can download them, it'll like send it to your email. I'm also opening up 10 slots for online coaching, one-on-one -on -one online coaching, 10 people only. It's application basis, you can't just go buy it, you have to go send an application on my website. You either get accepted, if I don't accept you, I'll refer you to a friend, or someone who I think can help you with what you need and your, your level of expertise. All that's on my website. We done, bro, we done, good workout. What up, what's, what's going on? on? Oh, we are here, we have made it all the way from Toronto, Canada. How you doing, man? Good, man, how are you? Good. It's my girlfriend, Liz. Hi, nice to meet you. She's like, you see that's sick. That's online, it's this guy, right? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Good, how's the travel? 
good? Good. 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 How was it? Good. 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 Yeah. Good. This is a surprise. Here's a surprise. I said someone's coming. It's gonna be so much running a lot easier. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna get fixed up for the next few days. Tell him. Heck yeah. This is all ours. Wow. That is wild. And it is humid out here, man. Yeah. I say something, it's out of line. I say it again, another time. I spoke freely when I was 17. I said the kind of things that no one was letting me. Right now, this is like the floor is not. Uh, strong enough to hold a ton of people up here. Say we like redo that. We get a big piece of glass cut to this fit. And uh, like a clinic up here or something. It kind of already is, like we have a table. We have a table. We legit put like four tables here. Yeah, yeah. easy, yeah. easy. So I think uh, game yeah. plan right now, Liz and Vinny are gonna run to Whole Foods, pick up some food for the weekend, cause we're dieting, you know? But I'm gonna stay here, and I need to hit my cardio to just knock that out. It's already like 4.30. I did have a scoop of protein. I know I said I was gonna do a full day of eating kind of in this video. So I had a scoop of protein from Ghost. See, use my discount code for 20% off. And I'm gonna knock this cardio out, even though I'm kind of hungry right now, and just go ahead and eat afterwards. So yeah, um, first I need to review some samples that we had in. These are all our spit samples. We're testing like a, this fall, I really want to launch an oversized range for men. So within the lifestyle range of Alphalete, having like boxier fit stuff, um, really heavy, heavy cotton, like really heavy, not so spandexy or anything. If you, this is like, that's, that's like a heavy freaking t-shirt. I know, what do you think? Oh wow. Like, like that's like heavy, heavy. Uh, so we have like box tees, we have these different like designs. Um, some long sleeve stuff, so I should try this on, give my feedback. So I'm gonna do this, and then hit my cardio. 45 minutes on, 40 minutes on the Stairmaster today. Get it done. My, dude, I feel like, I described this to Becca, but the best way to describe how my legs feel right now, imagine being a puppet, you know, this little thing up here, and like, I feel like if you like pick the string up, and the strings are attached to my kneecaps, I'm like, like lift my, you know what I mean? It's just like, ah, oh, I'm exhausted. But we're seeing progress. So we keep digging, bro. All right, big meal of the day. I can't tell you how much I recommend prepping your food beforehand, guys. I've got uh, 96.4 beef cooked up. I have chicken. I have green beans already like sautéed and ready to go. So I have 10 ounces of beef. I've got two servings of green beans, and I've got my sweet potatoes over here. Three servings, 66 grams of carbs worth, just like this. Put that on top. We put my ingredients. I've got my pepper. I've got my pink salt. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Walden Farms pancake syrup because I really enjoy it like that. And just a few sprays of, I can't believe it's not butter. You guys don't have to add this if you don't want, but I still incorporate these foods right now, like three weeks, three plus weeks out from Summer Shredding Classic. Yeah. So that's everything. Uh, before I even have this, I really feel like having something sweet. I'm like craving sweet. So instead of trying to fit like some cinnamon toast crunch or some ice cream or something like that in, I'm just gonna have 170 grams of blackberries. And then once I kind of get this craving out of the way, I'm gonna have this and drink a lot of water with my big meal of the day. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this for a few minutes. <laughs> Vinny and Liz are still at the grocery store, I think. It's been like an hour. So, no. but she's like a professional. She's like making a big cookbook and all this stuff. She's really good at making macro like good tasting meals, so maybe we'll get treated this weekend. I don't know. Mmm, -hmm. it's good. Bro, fruit is like the answer to your cravings. Mmm. I feel like this video is probably pretty long right now. Already, yeah. You guys liking it? Give it a thumbs up. What's up? What's up? You ready? What'd you do? We just came back from Whole Foods. We're showing you the. We got some coconut chips. Babe, what else we got? Show us. We got. Pork rinds. These are fire, by the way. This is fire. This is definitely not for summer shredding. <laughs> this is for me and Nabil, you know, late night when we are watching our movie. Yes. That's one serving. Wow. Nobody weigh things out and just like a slight disappointment. 
that just happened. But I am still craving sweet after those uh, blackberries, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. This is a vanilla one. I put 75 grams of raspberries, so I'm getting a second fruit for the day, and one serving of this Love Crunch granola. One serving is 30 grams, like that's 30 grams weighed out. Very, very little, uh, but six fat, 20 carb, two fiber, and two grams of protein. This will be like a really nice tasting snack, and hopefully this will get my cravings of these for right now. I pick you up, I pick you out of a crowd. How does it sound? Am I as loud as you want it now? So he's actually very anterior tilted, right? And I actually think that we just did a foot scan earlier, and I'll show you guys later. Um, a lot of his weight is actually on his heel. Right, and he actually has almost no weight on his toes, as you can see here. It's really weird. I literally <laughs> don't keep my toes on the ground when I'm walking or standing. I kind of just like yeah, chill everything's on his heels. So that's kind of something that we want to bring him. We want to bring his basically uh, base of support and center of mass, basically his weight a little bit more forward, um, because because of this heel, this hyperis extends his knee, and this in turn has to anterior tilt in order for him not to kind of fall all over the place. But what I want to do is I want to posterior tilt him a little bit and slowly drive his weight a little bit more forward and kind of make him stand more in the middle of this foot like this, right? But that's gonna be a working process, process the next few days that we're gonna get to. Cool. This is session one out of what, four or five sessions? Four or five sessions we're gonna do. Hell yeah. Cool. Um, we got our four photos. So I'm gonna wait to like show y'all till we're done. Kind of like day by day we can post photos, but cool. if you have photos from like a year ago, two years oh, ago. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm Crazy light one. years better than I used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really bad. So yeah. we're gonna get the table out. Got some YouTube videos playing. We got some uh, you and Olsen on right now. Dude, he, that guy lives a life, man. I'm over here like 45, I'm <laughs> like doing my Steermaster, like all sweaty. He's over here driving the Aventador S with the 488 Spider, the Perfect Monte on some mountain hills and having lunch served. I'm like, man, one day, oh, business call. Dude, I can't, I can't, I can't do manufacturing after like 7.30 p.m. This is gonna wait for the morning. Do this, we're gonna um, watch the game. But we got people coming over, we'll show you, we'll show you. So Nala, you want to get worked on too? Oh man, dude, my hamstring, my hamstrings are they're real tight. Oh god, <laughs> I know. Like when I, every step on the stairmaster, I'm like, wow, my hamstrings are tight. So this is about to. <laughs> are you ready for As you're stepping off, you kind of like go out. Go out, and this is an, an average of like your um, over five, six steps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So literally, you're you're always kind of like trying to figure out this part. Yeah. So this this part of your step from here, this part where you're kicking off and pushing off like that. And that I feel like the left foot. I don't even get on my toes, right? Yeah, your left foot, you barely. I've been making this oatmeal now for probably like 10 minutes. So I just want it to be perfect so I can really enjoy it. I've got a cup and a half of rolled oatmeal and I am extremely excited to sit down and eat this. So three servings of this. I've got some pancake syrup in there, some salt, and half a serving of the natural peanut butter. Uh, this is finishing off my carbs and fats for the day. I've still got like 40 grams of protein to hit. So Vinny's girlfriend Liz is gonna come down and make some really good chicken. She's, she's like a cook. So I'm gonna have like four ounces of that for dinner. But I'm like overly excited for this bowl of oatmeal right now. So much better than yours because that looks so bad. This? <laughs> it looks disgusting. What's funny is I don't eat oatmeal if I'm bulking up. I only want it when I diet. Find it? More of Vinny's Oh. It's heavenly. Okay guys, it's a one point game, 94-95. Houston has a ball. I'm gonna have four ounces of chicken to finish off the macros. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, my total macros for the day after having this chicken breast are, ready for it, here we go. This is not including my green beans or my spinach. 191 protein, the green beans had a lot of, I'm probably 195 protein. 239 carb, 33 fiber without the veggies, and 51 grams of fat. That's what I'm finishing off with. This looks delicious. Thank you so much, Liz. We're gonna end the vlog right now. We'll see y'all tomorrow.